spray him in the face like Charleston White. Hey, spray him in the face like Charleston White. I'm talking about right in the face with the mace. Right in the face. And I ran from the place. And then Soldier Boy and his friends started. I love the right hype. I would like to talk about Charleston uh, White. I have like a love hate relationship with Charleston White. Ditto. Ripe. Yeah. Um, Let me go first. Go ahead. I appreciate what Charleston White is doing, but because of how he's doing it in this internet world, I don't appreciate how he's doing it. Case in point, him versus Soldier Boy. Uh -huh. The internet thing to do is exactly what he's doing. The eyes are on me about this story. I'm finna make fun of it. I'm finna talk about it. I'm finna go live. I'm finna do interviews. I'm finna do all of that about this topic. Uh -huh. I'm finna antagonize him in hopes of keeping this going. All that shit I don't like. Nigga <laughs> said, y'all said, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all said I ran, so why you don't got no footage of uh, my elbows and asshole <laughs> following behind? Because if y'all had stomped me out and beat my ass like y'all wanted to, it, there'd be footage of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he does that, yeah, yeah. And he's like, uh, yeah, 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 no, yeah. Uh... <laughs> And he knew you don't even ask him a question. Okay. He said, uh, so they said that you ran. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, hell no. Ain't nobody ran from that. I'm like, yo, this so, nigga, bro. I like, appreciate it. Goes back to what we said. Uh, no, it was on the Patreon. Patreon.com. The realness that he implements is like an honest real. Right. Like, I'll protect myself. I'll protect my right. family. I ain't going to jail to right. try to keep it real for y'all. <laughs> y'all fucking uh, gang bangers and all that is ruining the world, and I ain't finna support y'all. Y'all people need... Like, that message is dope. But then when you mix that message in with damn near Takashi and how you going yeah. about it, yeah. it's the internet way. That's the part I don't like. So that's how I love hate. Yeah, yeah. Yo, turn. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, no. Um, uh, you skipped over a very important part. Cause you, I gotta give you some room. Let me get it here. Skip. Gotta give you some room. You know, is that the you have to start and finish with? He is very funny, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, that's he important. Is very funny. If you like, look at him through a comedic prism, bruh, yes, and you, that's the only way like I him, look bro. at him, bro. Even though he do say some shit. All right, all right. To talk, talk about what you said. He says some shit that is just the God honest truth. Yes. And then he says some shit that is just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay? So I, I also let those cancel each other out. Okay? And then it leaves me with what? He is very funny, bro. Like, he legitimately had an interview where he was talking about how he sued every job he ever oh, had. Oh, man. That shit was so fucking funny. That nigga said, <laughs> that nigga said all you got to do is just go in there and find some kind of safety violation or say this, <laughs> or this. And then he was basically saying, like, I'll go tell on them about a safety violation and start, like, reporting stuff. And then if they don't fix it, I'll sue the company. Mm -hmm. He was like, but then if they do fix it, they going to tell him that I'm the one that's told, and then the manager and them going to start treating me unfairly and start treating me poorly. He said, and I'm going to document it every time that they talk about me poorly. He said, he said, uh, somebody be in the lunchroom talking about who they fucked and who they didn't. Did. He said, I don't give a fuck <laughs> who these niggas fucked. I didn't fuck. come here for that. <laughs> he said, so then I'm going to go report them for sexual harassment, and then if they don't do nothing about that. He said, and then when they find out I snitched on them, they going to start treating me bad. And then he said, I'm going to do this and do this and do that. And then um, he was saying that he'll tell on somebody and do all this mm -hmm. shit, kick up this dust so he can sue or whatever. And then the interviewer was like, well, like, like, why would you, like, just uh, snitch on them? Like, they they just work there. You know, they need that job and blah, blah, blah. He's like, I don't know them niggas. <laughs> See? <laughs> I don't know them niggas. He said, I didn't come in here to work with them niggas. He said, I don't know them niggas. He said, I'll fuck them niggas. And he literally be like, fuck them niggas. Like, uh, uh, this is also how he be so harsh. Uh, they asked him, they said, would you rather have $500,000 uh, yeah, or dinner with Jay-Z? Jay He's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fuck <I'm> Jay-Z. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have to say fuck yes. But I also yes. think it's funny. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, but it's and like... he rides that line. Because I guess yes. saying fuck Jay-Z <laughs> is unnecessary. <laughs> but for comedic purposes, <laughs> it's spot on. Shit, we just said it and made yes, it laugh. Exactly. I guess so it's like comedically it it's spot on. Truth. It's like, all right, I get 500 G's or I get to hang Talk out to with Jay-Z. The answer is, man, fuck Jay-Z. That is the real <laughs> answer. You feel what I'm saying? That's the core answer. But if you say, I get to eat dinner by myself, or I get to eat dinner with Jay-Z, it's like, with Jay-Z, hell yeah. It's like the context <laughs> makes it what yes. it is. You feel what I'm saying? So I see the humor in the truth of that. And it's because... <laughs> Would you pick eating alone or with Jay-Z? Fuck Jay-Z. Exactly. You say the same words. And when we had totally the conversation different. before, I want to say it was Boosie, and I want to say it was like $50,000. Mm -hmm. When you say something like $50,000, it's, it's almost debatable. But 500 is not debatable. So it's like, well, this question is foolish. But 
But I say all that to say, like, when he's telling you how you can sue a company mm-hmm. and it's on some, like, how I would like to get over on mm-hmm. motherfuckers, it's this big some company that treats people over. like shit, mm-hmm. and then I'm finna start reporting y'all motherfuckers. He was like, yeah, I didn't sue every company that I ever worked for or whatever, right? So I'm like, not only is this good information, but I fuck with it, and it's hilarious. So yes. I, I, I fucks with it in that way. That That's one of the good ones. Yeah. He just did the other day when he like had a bulletproof vest on, talking about uh, Nipsey and mm. all, uh, King Von and all them. I think that's internet-y and unnecessary. Right, did you see I that did. video? Uh-uh, no. Nah. Death to all Crips and Bloods. Death to all GDs and BDs. May they all die like King Von. May they all die like Drakeo the Ruler. May they all die like Nipsey Hussle in vain. I don't like that. And right. when and you make it hard for me to still appreciate the nigga yes. who did this yes. when you the nigga because that do that. When he says his problem with King Von is he say, King Von is a known killer. Mm-hmm. And he was like, this isn't speculation. This is documented. Mm-hmm. Like, he is a known killer. When he says that, I can say, okay, I can see why you don't uh, support him yes, or you or don't advocate care. For right? Him. Cool. I don't have no problem with that. I don't. I don't. If that's your stance, I don't have no problem with that. But I do have a problem if you gonna go out of your way to be like, hey, fuck them. Exactly. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's that's whack to me. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that. Yeah. I get it. It's just no reason to say fuck people and shit. It's like, to me, I look at it like this. I feel like when you go to the lengths of doing what he did, I feel like that's mean-spirited. Yes. And you can't be mean-spirited if you want to say, hey, y'all should stop killing each other and we should all get along. Like you can't I just said, you words. can't be yeah. the nigga doing this and still embody the nigga doing this. Them two don't go together. Right. So that's yeah. why I'm yeah. imbalanced yeah. about him. Yeah. I, I, I mean, want him to continue talking the way he talks and preach the way he preach. Like, sadly, I, I didn't wish what happened with him and Soldier Boy happened, but, like, how the outcome happened sound right up his fucking alley because he yes. did an interview but, where he said, like, nigga, I got a mace with a red beam on that yeah. nigga. Uh, when I seen him talking about how he made Soldier Boy, again, I thought that was funny. Yeah, I thought it was funny. But I don't know nothing else about it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's all I well, know. Well, I saw a video right before that because, again, when you go to these rabbit holes, he was talking about Soldier Boy and how he ain't no real gangster. You know how yeah, everybody yeah, mentions and they speak yeah. about Soldier right. in, when they talk about him right. like that. You so, ain't no gangster never. Exactly. <laughs> I don't really know what a nigga be talking about, but a nigga know that a nigga all right. Ooh. If a nigga want a problem with a nigga like me, spray him in the face like Charleston White. Hey, spray him in the face like Charleston White. I'm talking about right in the face with the right mace. The and I ran from the place. And then Soldier Boy and his friends started motherfucking chasing. And I ran from them niggas that ain't got no footage because it ain't none. Soldier Boy never had a gun, never had me on the run. That <laughs> motherfucker don't want none. Uh, 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 like, uh, 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 yeah, uh, Soldier Boy. Oh, oh you no, a gangster, no. huh? Oh, uh, how that mace feel in your face, boy? Uh, thank you, huh? Dollars. You had all them niggas with you. Y'all think y'all was gonna get the drop on me. Dollars. But I whipped that mace out, nigga, got the drop on me. I, I ain't got no problem with niggas. I just out here talking my talk. No y'all niggas came up with about 50 niggas trying to outline me in chalk. Mm-hmm. What you think I was finna do? Uh, pull out the 22? Uh, 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 Mr. Soldier, man. <laughs> I, I got that mace for you. <laughs> I spray in your face, boy. Uh, don't yeah. come around play around this place. Boy. Uh, th- 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 what's wrong with him? Mm-hmm. Nigga think he gangsta. Mm-hmm. Oh, you ain't gangster, uh, a soldier boy. You, you, and mm-hmm. uh, you, you need to get the fuck up out of here. The Raw Hype Patreon. For more exclusive content, go to patreon.com backslash the Raw Hype. Turn up, turn up, Steve.